Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very on mass score is side. So in this video, we're going to discuss the problem binary representation of next number. The question is problem framework is very clear. The problem says that you have been given a string, a binary string to be specific. You have been given a binary string. Right? Suppose your string is one zero, right? This is a binary string. Now this string obviously represents a number in decimal equivalent. So decimal equivalent of one zero is as you all know two right now the problem says if you add one to two what will it become it will become three what is the binary representation of three it is one one represent it in the string form and return it so my answer will be one one in the string format right i have been provided with one zero i have to give one one okay this is the only problem statement that is for the given binary string represent the binary string of the number plus one of it right of the next number of it right that is the problem only now, how will you solve it? Also, it has been given that the string length is less than equal to 10 to the power 5. That is, the length can go up to 10 to the power 5. Okay. Now, how will you solve it? The first approach, the brute force approach, obviously. What does the brute force approach say? That from the given string, calculate this number. From this number, calculate this number by adding 1. And from this number, calculate the string again. How will you do it? So, for string, suppose 1, 0. It is your string. Now what will I do? I will start from the index last. So it is index number uh, 0, it is index number 2. Uh, sorry, 1. Okay. So what does happen? I will start traversing from here. It will be 0 into 2 to the power 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1. Right? So it will be 0 plus 2, which will be equals to 2. This will give me my number. How will I do it? I will say my number is equals to 0 currently. And now for i equals to n minus 1 all up till 0 what will happen I will say num plus equals to uh, s of i minus 0 which will give me this part that is 0 or 1 multiplied by power of 2 to the power what do I take for n minus 1 position see if I go index wise then this is index 0 this is index 1 right but if I go power wise it is index 0 it is index 1 right so it will be n minus 1 minus i right n minus 1 minus i and this will give me my two number you can obviously check about it right this will give me my number after this loop i will say num plus plus and this will provide me with three and now it is easy for me to do its string format i can easily convert it into string format so i will not be repeating that because that is understandable right now the problem with this approach is that the constraint is actually very large constraint is actually very large right we know that in C++ we have two integer data types. One of, one of them is int. Second one of them is long long int. Right. Int takes 8 bytes. Oh, sorry, 4 bytes of size. 4 bytes. And long long int takes 8 bytes. What is the meaning of 4 bytes? 32 bits, right? Because 1 byte equals to 8 bits. 8, bit, 8 bytes means 64 bits. Correct? That is integer range in the maximum is 2 to the power 31 minus 1. And similarly here it is 2 to the power 63 minus 1. Right. The problem is before you. All the digits like see if you see the constraint. What does what is the meaning of n? What is the meaning of s dot n? That is this number of bits. Number of bits. Right. Number of bits can be at maximum 10 to the power 5. My number of bits can be at maximum 10 to the power 5. But both the integers are very actually very low then this are actually very low right i cannot take 60 more than 64 bits i cannot take more than 32 bits i cannot take more than 64 bits and i cannot take more than 32 bits right that is a problem now how will i solve that problem so i will apply my mind and i will say what is the need of the conversion of this into this what is the need of conversion of this into this the problem is actually very simple to adding one to a linked list the problem is actually very simple to adding one to a linked list if you want to master that concept also, please uh, please do. I've already made a video over it in the linked list series which I have been making. The link is in the description. Right? Adding one to a linked list. Right. What will I do? I will say, let us go to some basic mathematics of binary string. So suppose my number is 111. One, one, right. This is my string. What does it represent? It represents 7. Now, whenever you are set to binary, like add 1 to it. Like you must have uh, taught it, uh, you must have been taught about it in digital electronics. What will happen? We will keep a 1 here, right? 
right now the carry of this one and this one is zero now what will happen the truth table of addition of binary string is suppose this is my number a this is my number b this is my sum and this is my carry right what will happen three four cases as usual zero 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 one one zero one one right so in the case of zero zero sum equal to zero carry equal to zero in the case of zero one in the case of zero one sum becomes one carry remains zero similarly here but in the case of one one sum becomes zero and carry becomes one sum becomes zero and carry becomes one right so if we add one here it will be one one case so sum is zero but carry becomes one right one one case sum becomes zero carry becomes one 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 case sum becomes zero carry becomes one and as you can see there is no string here so what will i do i will add a character here and i will add one here i will add one here so my answer string will be one triple zero and you can see that it is a binary representation of eight it is a binary representation of eight that is all that is all now few points to notice i was actually traversing in this direction and at the time of addition of the number also i have to add in this direction only so what will i do i will first reverse this string so triple one will actually become one 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 which is actually same which is actually same now what will i do i will say that suppose instead of taking one here i say one is also my carry so i will say carry equals to one right now this is my s now start traversing start traversing that is for i equals to zero up till n minus one right and the condition and carry is equals to equals to one because if carry is not equals to one that means the addition has been completed right suppose at any index if this carry was zero that means uh, the string for above after it will remain same now right? if, if the string after it will remain same because nothing is being added to it right that is the only concept for i equal to 0 to n minus 1 and carry equals to equals to 1 what will happen two cases if si equals to equals to 0 second case if si equals to equals to 1 right now because i know carry equals to 1 there are two cases 0 or 1 now if it is 0 that means carry is 0 suppose b represents my carry right now and s is uh, a represents my si so if it is 0 then in this case if it is 1 then this case for the case of 0 i what i will do i will say si will convert to 1 and carry will convert to 0 right so i will say si equals to 1 and carry equals to 0 now case of si equals to 1 that is this case what will happen i will say si will become 0 and carry will become 1 this is the only case where i can propagate right because carry needs to be 1 in the following index then only the loop will go up till end this is the only case right what will i do si equals to 1 so si will convert to 0 and carry will convert to 1 right that's all now as seen we have we can have to add the number that is what when happening when carry is equals to 1 after the loop also after the traversal also so what will i do if carry then s plus equals to 1 that is 1 1 1 1 will now become 0 0 0 0 1 right now this is the ultra representation this is a reverse representation uh, representation so what will i do i will say s dot reverse uh, reverse s dot begin with s dot end this will actually reverse my number so this will actually become 1 0 0 0 0 right what do i want it this is this is what i wanted and now i can simply return s now i can simply return s now i want to mention one more thing that in the given input strings it has it has already been mentioned in the question but when i was testing it one test case occurred something like this 0 0 1 0 0 right and we all know that after adding it uh, it will look something like 0 0 1 0 1 but the answer didn't expect us to write these two leading zeros the question can have leading zeros but uh, they expect that answers does not have leading zeros so what will happen before returning as what will i do i will say idx equals to zero right now that currently my string is starting from zero now for the first time while my si equals to equals to zero right while well, my first index is zero suppose my idx is equals to zero right now idx is here right now so what will happen idx plus plus idx will come here right then idx will come here as soon as it comes at one it will stop the loop will break and now i can simply return s dot sub str idx with what is the length suppose n is the length of s n minus 1 minus idx right 
why this because this is a length from idx suppose this is n n is one what is it one two three four five n is five here idx will stop at index number two and i want a length of three i want a length of three i want a length of three n minus idx equals to three okay it will be not be minus one it will be only n minus idx sorry my bad okay so n minus idx okay this will give my answer without the leading zeros right so let's move on to the code now so guys here is the coding section but before starting with it i would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me and if you are liking this video if you are in the series of the gfgp otd please like it because uh, it will be really motivating for me and i will be bringing out more and amazing content with on a, sh on a short time notice only okay so now starting it over first step was to reverse so reverse s dot begin with s dot end right after that int carry equals to one now for int i going from zero up until s dot nth i plus plus what will happen if si oh okay and carry equals to one and carry equals to one right what will happen for if si equals to equals to zero in that case si will convert to one but carry will go to zero carry equals to zero else case when si equals to equals to one in what will happen then in that case si will convert to zero and carry will remain one right now moving on if carry that is the string has been finished but carry has not been omitted right now so s equals to s plus one right because carry cannot contain more than one right now moving on what will i do i will have to remove the end i will have to reverse the string first because i have my answer with the leading zero right now s dot begin s dot end now to remove the leading zero what will i do i will say int idx equal to zero that is this is the current starting point of my string my answer string while my si as idx sorry equals to equals to zero just keep removing them so idx plus plus now at the last you can just return s dot sub str from idx up until let us say in 10 equals to s dot length right up until n minus idx right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine it should not give any error in the meantime do consider subscribing my channel okay let us try it for some it as well also i will be shortly bringing out the binary trees uh, playlist so Please tell me if you have any more concentration. I will bring out the place of that also. 172 days streak and thank you for watching. We will meet again tomorrow. Till then, stay tuned and keep coding. Have a nice day.